a week after a gruesome discovery in a home in Philadelphia's Wissanoming section, officials were back on the scene tonight to remove remains that were found in the basement. The unidentified remains were found buried under concrete. Action News reporter Annie McCormick now with the very latest. It took Philadelphia police and the crime scene unit days to remove a body from this Wissanoming home after receiving a tip that a woman who's been missing for years was buried in the basement in concrete. A body encased in concrete was removed by Philadelphia police this afternoon. It took six days for police to find the remains and then delicately remove the concrete surrounding the body. It's been really like, yeah, I can't even believe it. I don't even know what to say. Is it like it's happening like right here. It's like a lifetime movie is happening. Neighbors in the 5200 block of Burton Street have been watching closely since police and the crime scene unit arrived last Wednesday following information they received that a woman missing for eight years was buried in the concrete in the basement. You don't know what's going on. There's all these rumors, all these stories. Even like hearing it, like there's possibly a body there. It was still like maybe it was just dirt like because it took them so long to clean out the house. So I was like, oh, maybe it's just like, you know, a lie and not that it's really a body there. And then to hear like the body, I think was there for like eight years. When police arrived to the home last week, they were met with a possible hoarding situation and employees with the Department of Licenses and Inspections had to remove trash and debris before they could get to the basement. Homicide detectives were on scene today. Now they have to determine if the person died by homicide or of natural causes, but was buried by someone. Neighbors say they haven't seen the people who lived in the home, including the kids, for days. I just feel bad for the kids. Like, that's all. Like, really, like the kids is like where my heart is like aching for them. The next steps are for the medical examiner to perform an autopsy and to determine the identity of the person removed from the home. Reporting in Wissanoming, Annie McCormick for Action News at 10 on PHL 17.